Did you know you can now build a Lego Birkin? A red one. I recently saw this on Instagram and I went bonkers. I immediately went on Legoland and tried to find the Birkin and I realized I got fooled. So it turned out this whole thing was generated with AI, which to be honest, I really shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, since that was the main reason for this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. No, I'm only joking, I'm only joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Because I don't have the Lego version to show you, I'm going to show you the real version. So bear with me. If you're thinking this is something I do a lot, I'm telling you now, no, I don't, I don't. I only own this. I don't own any other designer. So um, one in a lifetime. This is the Lego Red Birkin. And this is mine. Now I thought since I won't have my own Lego one, I thought I'll just show you mine. And I'll tell you the story behind this because completely honest with you, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know any people who actually can afford one of these, but um, it's definitely not me, but hey ho. Hi, I have one of these and I'm having trouble to get rid of it, but I don't really want to get rid of it. It's such a beautiful bag. Anyway, now one of the things that reminds me that I did make the right decision on this bag was that when I saw the Lego Birkin and it was the red with gold hardware, immediately my heart dropped in the sense that I want that bag. I want that bag now. And it took me a while to realize that, oh yeah, no, I do. I actually, I actually, me, I actually have Okay, so let me tell the story behind it because this is probably the highest point as in you just had the highest point which is revealing the bag. The story behind it, <laughs> I'll try and not dampen it too much but I'm just going to be very, very transparent with you in terms of the state that I was in and my mindset. Because I definitely think there's something to be learnt through this experience but let me get this into a display mode. Okay, so this Birkin is a 35 and it is a HSS, which means it's a special order one. I'm gonna butcher every single pronunciation, so please don't come at me. But as I said, I do not do this for a living. The leather is Clements. The actual color is Cascade Rouge. And the interior is, this is why it is, <laughs> why I got it, it's Extreme Rose. And essentially it is a hot pink, fuchsia if you like in the interior of the bag the hardware as you can see it is gold it has nice little legs at the bottom and the plastic is still on i'm fully aware that you shouldn't leave the plastic on all the time but I'm gonna be honest i don't use it i don't use this bag it is purely for me to enjoy and look at and honestly kind of be proud about it i'm just telling you right now I absolutely love this bag. So I bought this bag brand new back in 2020 and it's only one in the whole world, I believe. Because it's a HSS, the client is able to pick their colors, is able to pick everything about it. I could be wrong, but this is just from what I know through my obsession back in 2020. <laughs> Things could have changed, but it's the only one in the world and I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of scary that I have something that only exists here. It was shipped all the way from New York and I bought it from First Dibs. Right, let's talk about why I got this bag and the mindset I was in. I was back in teaching, believe it or not. I wasn't in software development. So my partner and I actually grew up in London and we were only 10 minute walk from each other. Because London was so expensive and at the time I also had to pay towards other things, we decided to actually move to the Midlands because the rent was a lot cheaper. So the rent up there was about a third of London prices, which was insane and you get more spaces. So I got a job up there and that kind of made the decision for us to move. When I was up there, I actually survived three months. I had a couple of incidents where I was followed home and I was publicly harassed by a group of children. Yes, I... I got bullied by kids, okay? I was in my early 20s and yeah, I got bullied by kids. So one of the boys actually showed his bare bottom in public at me and they just made very like sexual remarks and it was very awkward. It was already 5.30, so an hour or two after work as a teacher and the kids clearly just came up from home and saw me walking home. 
So that was a situation and I react to things very slowly. So slowly that that happened on a Wednesday and I didn't react until Friday morning to the point that I couldn't go to school as I couldn't go for work. The doctors actually signed me off and after two weeks, I still couldn't go to work because my anxiety, everything was just through the roof. So we got to a point where we realized that I probably shouldn't be working and teaching anymore because this is the first time I have been harassed constantly, whatever school I go into. I don't know why people just love to kind of, you know, say stuff. So after that, I was in a spot where I didn't really have much of a future. I'm just gonna be a bit honest. It's not going to be your typical Birkin story about how to get your Birkin and all of that. It really was a one-off situation. But anyway, at the time, I didn't really have much of a teacher going. As I mentioned, teacher was no longer an option for me and I didn't really have any other skills apart from the fact that I graduated with mechanical engineering. So I had that going for me, I guess, but I wasn't in the field for very long. So in short, at the time, I was unemployed and I didn't really have much prospect in terms of the future. I didn't know my career, I didn't know anything. And honestly, I think I just wanted a pick me up and it sounds really bad because it is a very expensive pick me up. To add to everything, I didn't even buy it from a store. Like I've never been to Hermes in my life and I don't think I ever will. I have heard of the Hermes game, the fact that you have to buy different, multiple different things, and then you have to rack up those numbers. Once you hit that special number, you are given a chance to buy a bag, which for me, I just felt that was so insulting. If I want a bag, I will go and get that bag myself. That's just always how my mind works. I am not gonna jump through any hoops for anyone. Okay, especially when it comes to materialistic things. If I have the money, I will go and get it myself. And that is also how I still see things now. I do have one of these. So I got this from First Dibs. It was brand new. And at the time I wasn't exactly looking for a bag. I wasn't looking to spend anything, at least nothing serious. I was just online searching for red bags. That's all it was. And I don't know why, because normally it doesn't show up. But for some reason that night, this bag showed up and I fell in love. I don't, I don't, I trust me, I don't normally fall in love with stuff. I really don't. I don't, I mean, okay, maybe the gown. I, I love the gown, but this, this made me gasp. I remember seeing this and my jaw dropped. I don't remember a time where my jaw dropped for anything, okay, apart from this. And it almost felt like it was made for me. I'll tell you what got me, okay, because outside, this red, beautiful red, gold hardware, I thought, perfect, okay. I didn't even think that much of it. What made me pull the trigger was the interior. And I, it was extreme rose, which is hot pink or fuchsia, however you want to see it. Beautiful color. And that's when I knew my two favorite color in one bag. What am I going to do? I love the structure of it. I love the design. I thought it was very, very classy. It is very timeless. I just thought, so I decided to go and get it. And at the time, what I told myself, what I kept telling myself was, I'll buy it now and I'll sell it in 10 years. And the thing is, is that that is great if you got it from a store. Not great if you got it from a consignment store. And that's the thing that I didn't really think about. Also at the time, I honestly thought that if I bought this it was going to be a massive achievement for me because don't ask me why but at the time I really wanted a Birkin and it's something that I'm not very proud of it makes me cringe thinking about it now but there was a time that I really fancied a Birkin I had a fancy treated myself a Birkin at the time that's all I could say it felt like it was meant to be the colors was right the colors the interior was right and it just felt so special so I decided to get it now getting it was a whole other story because I was living in the Midlands and it was no longer in London and I think that was why the store actually called me up just to check that I was actually who I said I was and my bank also called me up to tell me please don't go with the purchase and as much as I want to say that I wish someone back then told me not to make the purchase I'm going to be completely honest with you you could tell me back then to not make the purchase and I'll still make the purchase just because of my history I don't I don't want to say I don't listen to people I do listen to people but it's just from my experience when people tell me to do something a lot of time it benefits them than me that's just my me growing up a lot of time that's what I found so 
naturally when that's the way you grow up it, it stays with you so i am working on that part i do trust a couple of people now as much as i want to say <laughs> i wouldn't be spending this amount for this bag um i still would be here with this bag whatever happens so i am happy i got it it is it does feel very weird that it's right next to me because i don't think i i don't know i don't think i am that customer for this kind of things and i don't think um as is some I think if I go anywhere near Hermes, they would just shoo me away. But I'm very happy that I got it. I'm very proud of myself I got it. Do I need it? No. Do I regret it? Depends, kind of. Now I kind of do regret it because I have a life with my partner. I feel like the money could definitely could have gone towards something else, um, towards our life, towards our wedding, honeymoon, whatever it could have been. I just wish I wasn't so short-sighted back in 2020. Granted, it is 2023, three years later, but honestly, back then, my mood was very low. I wasn't really thinking straight, given my situation. So I am not giving myself an excuse, but um, at the same time, I do understand back then what my mindset was. Now, I mean, I'm not sad, <laughs> like, I do love the bag. The thing is, I do love the bag. I think it is absolutely stunning. It is one of its kind. I will never be using it. I will just be sitting there enjoying the view. If, for example, in the future, if I do ever have kids or choose to have kids, then I will definitely be passing this bag down. Not until they are old though. <laughs> they need to understand the value of items before I start passing anything down to them because this is a little bit pricey, I'm just saying. But that was pretty much the background of this bag. I'm sorry it's not a very like high energy, high happiness kind of thing, but I just want to be completely transparent in terms of why and how I ended up with this bag. It's not, it's, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. That part of my life wasn't exactly the best part of my life, but it definitely did change my career. So I am very grateful about that. That is something that I am very happy about. But yes, that is the story of this bag. Of course, if you have any questions about this bag or anything about this video, please feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please see this as the highlight of the video. That being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. Bye.